Hey community, this is Dr. Hugh, and if you're out there suffering with a chronic condition and you're taking supplements after supplements after supplements, or handfuls of supplements after handfuls of supplements, this is the webinar that you're going to want to listen to and watch. And if you're out there listening to this somewhere around here, there's going to be a link where you can actually watch this. So I'll let you know, the game that we're playing, the game that you're playing, if you're one of my clients, the game that we're playing is not a supplement game. So if you have a chronic condition and the only thing that you're doing is I'm going to try this supplement, I'm going to try that supplement, that's a losing game. I want you to win. I want you to recover. So the thing that we want to do, the game that we want to, want to do is what kind of lifestyle modifications can we do to get you better? So I'm going to go through my clinical thought process after 25 years of when a client comes to me, what I go through. And you're going to see all these things need to be in place before we start supplements. So this is why I say, in order for you to get better, this is not, let me repeat, this is not a supplement game. Okay, so let's go through this right here. So this is not a supplement game. So what are we trying to do here? What we're actually trying to do is we're actually trying to increase your body's ability to heal and function. Now, do supplements play a factor in that? Obviously they do, but if this is the only thing that you are really doing to get your case better, you are missing the boat. And this is probably why you're not getting better. And, you know, out there in the uh, alternative health space, there's a lot of things that I call call the shiny coin that cost a lot of money. I've had clients come to me that have spent thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars and aren't well. And guess what? It was all a supplement game. It was all a polypeptide game. It was all a stem cell game. Now those people, you know, obviously those therapies get better, but for the average person can't afford fifty thousand dollars for stem cells. So let's get to the basic things that need to be done before we even get to supplements. Okay, so right here, I call this the triple threat approach. Now, this is every client goes through this. You can either be in a state of hypoglycemia, not enough sugar, or too much sugar, which is a hyperglycemic pattern. So one thing when it comes to sugar glucose, we want your glucose levels to be, to be between 85 and 120 with or without food. Now, I've designed very specific protocols that are on my website for you to figure out, do you have a hypoglycemia pattern or do you have a hyperglycemic pattern? And if your sugar regulation or your dis, if, if your sugar dysregul, if you have sugar dysregulation, you are not going to get better. The second triple threat is high or low iron. And the third thing is low blood pressure. So let me go through these. I don't want to spend too much time on these because a lot of this stuff is actually on my website. So the first thing here, hypoglycemia. If you look at this right here, you're going to click this button and this will take you right to my website on all the content that I have about hypoglycemia and hyperglycemia. But at the end of the day, you want your blood sugar to, to be between 85 and 120 with or, with or without or, with or without food, and I have a very specific protocol and uh, what I walk through my clients to figure this out. It's very simple. You go to Amazon and you buy this little kit right here. It's basically twenty or thirty dollars, and you're going to prick your finger like fifteen times a day. You only have to do this for five days, and then we can rule this in or out. Do you have a problem or do you not have a problem? Do you have hypoglycemia or hyperglycemia? And we can start working on this. We can start, um, we can start handling this. But first, we have to know if it's there or not. Okay, so the second thing is here is anemia. All right. Now, when I, when I talk about the triple threat right here, all right, when I talk about the triple threat, Hypo or hyperglycemia, iron that's too low or too high, and low blood low blood pressure. These are deal killers. What I mean like, like this, if you have these things, you're not going to get well. No matter the amount of supplements that you take, the amount of glutathione you take, the, the amount of IV therapy you get, the amount of stem cells that you get. Why? Because your body need, needs these basic ingredients. So this is a, de a deal killer. This will kill anyone's healing is if they have these three things. So this is why this is so critical to make sure that when I call the triple threat here, and these are just three things, we have about eight more things we're going to go through, is you have to make sure you have to rule these things in or out. Now, a lot of my clients here, uh, they'll have uh, anemia, which means not enough iron, 
But there's a huge correlation, especially when people have been damaged with antibiotics, fluoroquinolones, is they have too much iron, which is called ferritin. And you want to measure this right here. It's ferritin. Now, it's not as simple as, hey, I've measured my fer ferritin. It's high. I have a problem. There's more clinical things that need to be um, evo need to be analyzed to determine if this is a factor. But at the end of the day, high ferritin levels can indicate that you're holding on to too much iron. And if you're holding on to too much iron, your body's going to rust. One of the most uh, reactive metals on planet Earth that God put here is iron. And iron reacts very, very aggressively. It causes a lot of oxidative stress in your body and free radicals. And if you have too much iron, imagine all the iron, too much iron in all your organs. What's going to happen to your organs? They're going to rust, right? If you put your bike outside... Uh, in the rain, it's going to start to rust. This is what happens in your body. And I'll tell you, this is a very, very, very common for people to have high ferritin levels. And it was never checked. It's a very simple test. It literally costs about $5. In order to do a thorough iron panel, you need to check roughly about 15 different markers. And that roughly comes, uh, the cost of that is roughly $30, right? So it needs to be checked. You need to go to someone that actually will check these markers to know what's going on in your body. Now, the next thing that we're going to come across is the chi machine. Now, this is very, all these things are just very important and they're very simple to apply. A lot of the patients that come to me or clients that come to me have a time, hard time exercising. Some clients can't even walk. Sometimes are bedridden. Uh, they're in canes. They use walkers. Some are in wheelchairs. So we need to get you moving, right? If you're not moving, you don't have good blood flow going. You don't have uh, good lymph flow going and you just don't have good energy around your body. So this right here, if you go to my website right here, this is the Chi Machine. You can get a used one on Marketplace. You can use one on eBay for like $80. And really simply, you um, basically, it's a thing that just moves your legs back and forth, very gentle, uh, and you can do it at home. And this is critical. So when I have clients that come to me that have a hard time moving, let's say they have Achilles tendon problems, they have fibromyalgia, they have chronic fatigue, this is like, quote, like an artificial way to get things moving and get your body exercising. There is no pill, there's no supplement that's going to get better results than exercise. Exercise clearly shows in the clinical research has so many benefits that supplements are not going to um, be more beneficial than the chi machine. Okay, so that was the, the fourth thing right here. The fifth thing is, is your diet killing you? Now, right here, the title of this, your healthy vegetables, warning, your healthy veggie diet may be sabotaging your health. Discover why. A lot of the clients that come to me, uh, vegetables are not good. Like they can't digest the fibers in them. The fire, fibers destroy their gut. Vegetables have a thing called isothiocyanates. Let me say that again. It's called isothiocyanates. Cyanites. Vegetables, um, if you look around planet Earth, vegetables have very, very good adaptive mechanisms. In fact, vegetables uh, are 80% of planet or 90% of planet Earth. So vegetables and green things over evolution, over a period of time, have come up with very, very crafty things to deter predators from eating them. So not all vegetables are healthy. I know out there in, in the, quote, healthy world, eat as many vegetables as you can. And I've seen this clinically, is this can be very, very detrimental to people that have a chronic illness. When I, people, when I put people on a what I call a carnivore-ish diet, which means a lot of protein, a lot of meat, and fruit, Guess what? Boom, they start to heal up because we've just eliminated these things that they are sensitive to. So vegetables can be very, very toxic to your body. Okay, the sixth thing. Now we're, all, we're on number six and we haven't even talked about supplements, right? No supplements yet. This has been a very critical thing is red light therapy. You can get this on Amazon for $80. I had one gentleman who couldn't get out of bed. We did a full functional medicine program, including red light therapy. Red light therapy penetrates the, the, your skin cells and gets into the mitochondria and starts to heal the mitochondria. And again, this isn't my opinion. This is actual research fact. So what is the side effects to red light therapy? Nothing. The only side effect is you getting better. 
So I have people do the Qi machine. I have people do red light therapy. I have people make sure that their iron levels are in the normal healthy functional range. I make sure that they're, that the client's blood sugar levels are in the normal healthy range, 85 to 120, because that supplies energy to uh, mitochondria. And that's where your ATP and energy is produced. Now, we haven't even got to supplements yet, right? So this is why I get the clinical results that I do, because it's just not a supplement game, Right. Uh, like when, when people come to you, what supplement should I take? What supplement should I, should I take for this? Well, it's really not a supplement game. Let's walk through all these different things that may be affecting your body's ability to heal and function. Now, this is very common too. This is a navage. A lot of people that have been damaged by antibiotics have chronic sinus infections. And they might say, hey, I, 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 my, my sinus infection is completely gone. Well, I have people... While I'm on a Zoom call, they push out into their sinuses right here. Is that sore? Is the bridge of your nose really sore when you push it right in here? Do you have a hard time breathing in your nose? Is it always stuffed up? Are your nostrils, can you breathe in your nostrils? Do you have a chronic, low-grade, mild sinus infection? Because when that happens, you can have like biofilms and bacteria that are actually in your sinus cavities, Right, They actually sit in your sinus cavities and they go right up to your brain and they can cause neural inflammation. So again, a lot of people that have been hurt by antibiotics or they just have uh, allergies or they have post-nasal drip, they have a bunch of bacteria in their head that's sitting there and that bacteria will cause neural inflammation and your brain will always be inflamed. And if your brain is always be, uh, being inflamed, you're going to be chronically fatigued. There's so many problems that are caused by your brain when your brain is um, inflamed. Now, when your brain's inflamed, it's not like your brain has pain receptors, right? That's not how it works. You get brain fog, you get brain fatigue, you might get digestive issues, you might, you might get dysautonomia, you might get a racing heart, you might get sweating, you might get heart, hot flashes, you might get the inability to to sleep inability to concentrate you might get like these weird muscle jerks your eyes might start to jerk all these are indications of neural inflammation and something going on with your sinuses so this has been a very critical component for people that have low grade infections and to be honest with you a lot of my clients do they get the chi machine and then they'll put in some uh, colloidal silver in the solution here and that helps clear up the uh, bacteria. Colloidal silver is your God-given antibiotic. Okay, so that was uh, the seventh thing that we're going to do that's not about supplements. Let's go on to number eight. This is big too. This is a basically a massage gun. A lot of people that come to me, they have constipation, they have diarrhea. I'll, I'll have people do the chi machine, so it's going back and forth, and this causes uh, you know blood flow and lymph flow, lymph flow. And then when they take this this uh, massage gun, and then they start to massage their gut. Because what does that do? That breaks up poop, right? That breaks up poop in there. It gets the enteric nervous system, which is basically a fancy word for just saying that your nervous system in your gut, that wakes it up. Your gut starts to move better, and they can have better bowel movements. So this is really, really critical to get things going. I'll also have people do this if they have chronic sinus infections. I'll have them put a towel on their forehead, and then they, they'll take this massage gun, and then they'll vibrate their forehead. They'll vibrate their bridge right here, right right here. They'll put a towel on and put that uh, massage on there and vibrate there. And you can break up biofilms. You can break up bacteria and get things going in your body. And then on top of that, I might have people put on the red light. And these are the people that have gone from doctor to doctor, doctor, to doctor, to doctor, to doctor, to doctor, to doctor, and take handfuls and handfuls and handfuls and handfuls of supplements and spend thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars in supplements without getting better. So you might have a person that has anemia. You might have a person that has chronic sinus infections. You might have a person that has sugar dysregulation problems. And these have never been addressed because it's not a supplement game. It's an individualized, custom-tailored plan that meets your needs where we're addressing many things, a polytherapy approach. Poly just means many. All right, here's another device that I use, and I'm just going to kind of blow this up a little bit. You can see right in here, this will check your oxygenation, right? You see it's 90%. You put this on your fing finger, and it measures how much oxygen is on your red blood cells, which is really, really important. So we don't want this to be anything less than 98. So if you're sitting at 95, 96, that's telling us that you have an oxygenation problem. You're not getting enough oxygen to your tissues. And if you don't get enough oxygen to your tissues, your tissues just are not going to be doing well. 
they're going to be sick. And then on top of that, this also measures your heart rate at 75. I'll have, uh, I'll have, this just goes right over your finger and I'll have people like stand up or turn the lights on and off and we'll see if their heart rate goes up. If their heart rate goes up just from clapping, sounds, noise, that's, t- that's telling you that you have some kind of dysautonomia and your brain isn't able to handle the stimulus that's going in your brain. And then you get this dysautonomias, which are a lot of weird neurological problems. You go to the doctor and then say, ah, Here's some antidepressant medication. Ah, it's all in your head and you don't get better. Okay, so that was uh, number nine. Let's go into number 10. So this is a real cool uh, device right here. Basically, it's an infrared temperature gauge. You just, uh, there's a red beam that comes out here and then you check the skin, uh, the temperature of your skin. So you check your big toe to your knee. Or your knee to your big toe. That's the way I should say it. So your knee to your big toe, there shouldn't be a 10 degree difference. So let's say your knee is at, let's say, 95 degrees. And let's say your big toe is at 84. That's a problem. That's telling you between your knee and your big toe, there's a 11 degree drop in temperature. This is a problem. Maybe you have a circulation problem. Maybe you have an anemia problem. Maybe you don't have enough iron. Maybe you have an oxygenation problem. Maybe you have a circulation problem. Like This is where you kind of start to rule these things in and out. Same thing with your hand. You can put it on your finger here, go up to your elbow, go up to your shoulder, and what's the temperature? Check your check your head. What's the temperature of your uh, your skin on your head? Is this cooler? Right. So is uh, let's say you check your shoulder and it's uh, 95 and you check your head and it's uh, let's say it's 84 again. This is telling you that you're not having good blood flow uh, going up up to your head. And, you know, that's your brain. Right. So this is this is important. And then finally here, the last thing that I've used uh, for women is these Kegel exercises. A lot of women have come to me because they have UTIs, chronic urinary tract infections. They've gone on antibiotics after antibiotics after antibiotics, and now they got damaged and now they're sick. And they have um, poor, basically, female musculature down in the pelvis, right? So these things, uh, these are little weights, and you insert them into your vagina. And I tell women, okay, you can put like colloidal silver on there, and then you can start to exercise the uterus, you can ex- start to exercise the pelvic floor because if the pelvic floor is weak and it starts to drop, this is when bacteria will get caught in the, ure- the urethra. This is when we- bacteria isn't very cleared out after intercourse. So <clears throat> these are things that can be done that have nothing to do with supplements, right? So now let's add in the supplements. Let's add in changing the diet, right? So when you add these different components in, this is when your case goes from chronic disease to to health and happiness, and you can get well. Where there's help, there's hope. I hope you've enjoyed this content. If you have any questions, let me know. And this is Dr. Hugh. Take care. Bye-bye.